thank you very much. That's so nice of you. Have a seat if you, if you want. If not, whatever you want to do. You get, that's right, stand if you wish. Um, thank you. And this, this uh, show is dedicated to all the people in the Riff Raff Room. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I feel bad for the people that come and then they don't, uh, I, but I, well, we check on them once in a while. We're going to keep uh, walking in there and seeing them. Uh, we will. Um, okay, so, uh, so anyway, uh, I'm glad you're here. And uh, today is Friday, and you know what that means? That tomorrow is Saturday, and, uh, and I like it. I like, the, I like the weekends. The weekends are uh, some, some of my favorite days are weekends. Um, it's a, it's a, the weekend is a time to catch up on everything that, that I really need to do during, that I can't do during the week. I get to, it's my time to, uh, to go shopping. It's time to pick up my dry cleaning or tend the garden or organize my shoes or dye my arm hair or uh, <laughs> bet the ponies. Uh, all that stuff is supposed to happen, but ma mainly what I do is sleep. That's all I do. That's the weekend. Is, is, shouldn't we be sleeping on the weekend? Is that what? <laughs> it's not long enough. Everybody, you know, it's, it's, you have the two days, and, and it's just not long enough. Am I right? You bet your sweet tootsie I'm right. Uh, <laughs> Whoever invented this whole week-long calendar thing, I don't know what, they weren't thinking it through, because what it should be is the two days should be the work days and the five days should be the weekend. Yeah. I don't know who it was, Columbus or whoever did all that uh, adding up of the days. Um, if you're homeschooling, I'm pretty sure it was Columbus. Um, <laughs> But uh, no one really has the, everybody that works the five days and has the two days off. The only people that have the two days work and then the five days off, from what I can figure, are golf caddies. They're the only ones that have it made. They, they basically walk around for two days, go, I'd use a nine iron, and then that's it for the rest of the week. That's all they do. <laughs> I try to relax on the weekend. It's hard, though. I, 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 you know, I, what I don't, here's what I don't do, because I talk all week long. This is my job, talking to people. So on the weekends, I, I try not to talk, um, because also I have the habit of just talking to people for four or five minutes, and then I cut to commercial. And uh, <laughs> I, I just have to stop them, and they don't understand in the middle of the story. We'll be right back. And then, <laughs> and then I always ask them if they have a clip, and they don't, and I'm upset. And, <laughs> I don't have, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I, I, I keep talking about it, and, I, and I'm going to do it, I think. I'm going to buy a hammock, because to me, uh, that's very relaxing, is, is to have a hammock. Um, but you have to put them between two big, thick trees, so that'll take 50 years. So I don't have, because uh, <laughs> they have to, you, you're, I've been looking in my yard for the perfect two trees to put the hammock in, because that's ideal. I don't want the metal thing. I want them hanging from two trees. And so the only two trees I have right now are about four feet apart which I'd have to be in a fetal position, just balled up <laughs> in this hammock that right between the trees <laughs> and hang it really high and just kind of low like that. And it wouldn't look as good. <laughs> I always find that hammocks aren't as, as romantic as, and relaxing as they appear in movies anyway. You see in the movies somebody laying in a hammock, and especially in two people, and it seems so, but you always go to that middle point and you're just kind of crammed <laughs> against each other. And then also you don't really see in the movies the gnats that are swarming around your face. <laughs> and if you fall asleep, you have the pattern of the hammock and just embedded in your cheek. Not, not relaxing. And then trying to get out of the hammock is never a pleasant. I, you, you start to try to get out, you completely flip upside down, <laughs> holding on for dear life. Your hands are in the dirt. <laughs> you walk in with your white outfit on, so it's completely full of mud. Oh, at the very least, I'm going to get a tire that hangs from a rope, though, because <laughs> that seems like a whole lot of fun, too, to have the tire and the rope. And then that's, that's actually, then you get all dirty, because the tire has the, the tar on it, which is why you have to buy overall shorts if you have a tire and a swing. Um, which is, and then just a piece of straw from the mouth. Just, <laughs> And I'm 
not kidding around now. Now I'm serious. Uh, the most relaxing thing to me is, and I mean it, is watering my garden. If, if you want to catch me relaxing, I, I find nothing more relaxing than being outside with the hose in the hand and watering things. It is just the most calming thing in the world. Isn't it? It's just, it's so peaceful. I'm killing all of my cactuses. Really don't need that much. I'm just hosing them because I like it. Really, water is so relaxing. Sometimes I often, I doze off while I'm washing dishes. I just will all of a sudden. <laughs> Water is, it's very zen-like to be around water. That's why waterfalls, for instance, are very soothing, uh, unless you're in the barrel rolling down one. Then, <laughs> then it's more exhilarating than relaxing. I'll tell you what's exhilarating to me, dancing. Make me dance, Tony. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? I think we should put a hammock up here. <laughs> Between the posts? Yeah, we could just put up and, and then have the, the guest in a hammock. <laughs> and then we have a camera mounted up here and we interview people and we, we interview from a hammock. Help them in and out of it. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you and your stupid girlfriend? <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> well, she's not. She's not my girlfriend, um, but she watched the show. Oh, now that it's about her, she'll watch, I see. <laughs> she watched the show and yep. uh, she, she really liked it, mm -hmm. as, uh, as most people do. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so she liked it and, uh, and she's, uh, she's not so stupid, but... Um... <laughs> in a movie called Godsend uh, and also The Punisher. Godsend, that looks very, very scary. Looks very scary. Uh, and also on the show, we've had her on before. She is so adorable. A little 10-year-old going on 30. Dakota Fanning is on the show. <laughs> she was in the Cat in the Hat movies and she was in, uh, now she's in a number one movie, uh, Man on Fire with Denzel Washington and just a brilliant actress. I mean, she's, she's really a special little girl. Um, also on the show, a woman um, uh, that, she lives in Florida, she lost her cat, uh, this is a picture of her cat, um, she lost her cat seven years ago, and she just got a call April 1st from the San Francisco Pound, the cat had a chip in it, they found the cat seven years later in San Francisco, uh, so we uh, are reuniting them, they have been reunited now, and uh... And hey, it's Friday, and you know what it means. It means it's time for What's On Your Mind. Yeah. All right. So this comes from Tammy Perrine, I believe, from El Paso, Texas. Uh, I needed to share this great story with you, and I believe we need piano music for this. My son Jacob, five years old, and I watch your show every morning. He really loves the dancing, but most of all, he just cracks up when you do the bird hoo hoo sound. <laughs> Last week, as we were eating breakfast, we had some birds on our chimney. One bird was making the hoo hoo sound. Jacob ran to the living room and screams, Ellen is in our chimney. <laughs> I tried to explain it was 
just a bird, but now I have a five-year-old who believes you live in our chimney <laughs> and tells everyone he thinks needs to know. I get a lot of crazy looks. So every morning when he walks by the fireplace and screams, good morning, Ellen. <laughs> Thanks for the great laughs. Keep on dancing. Tammy Perrine, El Paso, Texas. So, first of all, I would like to say, hoo, hoo. good morning, Jacob. <laughs> all right, so we get a letter from Patrick Hanlon from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and regarding Isabella Rossellini. If she really wanted to lose her accent, she could. Rutger Hauer barely spoke English when he came to America. Now most people don't even know he's not from here. That's all there is. Um, <laughs> Okay, if you don't know who Rutger Hauer is, Rutger Hauer is a, a German actor, I think. I think he's German. You can't tell because he's lost his accent. But uh, <laughs> the only way I even know it's, he's German is because his name is Rutger Hauer. Uh, can I possibly say Rutger Hauer one more time? Um, so I believe the guy who sent in this letter probably works for Rutger Hauer or actually is Rutger Hauer. Um, <laughs> But I'll tell you something, Isabella's accent has kept her from nothing. And it's charming, Mr. Whoever You Are, probably Rutger Hauer. <laughs> and, and anyone else who has anything bad to say about Isabella Rosalini, I'll meet you outside. <laughs> there. All right. There you go. All right. Then um, we have, uh, okay, before I read you this letter, I just have to explain. Um, Here's the deal. The little Trent Douglas and Ally Crum, I believe their names, they're, there they are. There's a picture of them right now. Um, they're nine years old. They're in the third grade at East Elementary School in Sheboygan, Michigan. And they sent me a letter about how they started this random acts of kindness program at their school. And they asked if I could give a shout out to their gym teacher, Miss Golden. So they promised me if I did it, I would get $2. So I did. Um, <laughs> and, and also, they threatened to go to Oprah if I didn't. So. Um, <laughs> And that's how we started the Hala Awards. So we started giving, you know, Hala Awards out to like, you know, Miss Golden got a Hala, like a, a shout out. Um, so anyway, uh, so now they sent me a thank you because, um, because I did it. So uh, dear Mr. Generous, we wanted to thank you for reading our letter on your show. We hope you got a kick out of it. Miss Golden was very excited and happy because you held up your end of the deal. Here's your two bucks. And, uh, and they sent it. Um, is that... Uh, uh, we want to make you an honorary person in our class. Is that okay with you? If it is, welcome to the agency. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, Trent and Allie, uh, P.S., the class thinks you're funnier than Oprah. All right, so... Uh, That's true. Oprah's pretty funny. Um, in 1986, she beat me on Star Search. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it got down to Oprah, me, and Sally Jesse. And um, <laughs> all right, so I decided since they actually uh, wrote me, I'm going to call and thank them and see. Um, <laughs> see what they have to say now for themselves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I dialed wrong. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm calling to thank them for the $2, so it's a $2 holla. <laughs> Trent and Allie, right? Hello? Hello, is this Trent or Allie? Um, yeah, this is Trent Douglas. Are you Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coincidentally, I am. Oh, cool. uh, well, would you looky there? <laughs> Well, Trent, who told you we were calling? That's your teacher, Mr. Hall. Can't shut his mouth. Mouth. <laughs> oh, because we had to call the school looking for your number. Oh. I think so. I think that's who told you. Okay, so how old are you, nine? Yep, nine. Okay, great. Um, first of all, thank you for the $2. Where'd you get the $2 from? Oh, my gym teacher. For, oh, Miss Golden paid you to write me. Yep. I see. It's a very interesting random act of kindness here. This is 
This is now a, a, a scam. Um, <laughs> all right, so she says, wouldn't it be nice, I'll give you $2 if we get a shout out, right? Yep. <laughs> I love how honest kids are. All right, hey, what do you want to do when, when you grow up, by the way? I want to be an actor. You want to be an actor? Well, you're well on your way, you're adorable. <laughs> and um, do you know Rutger Hauer by any chance? <laughs> German actor? German actor? Yeah. Um, no, didn't think so. All right. Yeah. Um, all right, here's what we want to do. But, and who's Allie? Allie is your sister? No, she's my friend at school, really. She's your friend, okay. Well, what we would like to do, uh, you seem like great kids. We'd like you to come on the show. Would you do that? Yeah. All right, fantastic. We're going to call you, and we're going to have you come on the show. And uh, all right, well, it was great talking to you, okay? Okay. All right, bye-bye. What? Would you want to talk to Allie? Oh, is she there? Yep, she's right, sitting right next to Plenty me. Plenty of time. <laughs> I'm sure Rebecca Remain Stamos will understand. <laughs> Allie? Oh, let me give you a tour. Oh. The <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Allie? Yes? How's it going? Good. Good. Listen, um, just from now on, he's not really a good secretary. It, he, he should hand the phone right over when he says, do you want to talk to Allie? He just, he just hung on. <laughs> <laughs> and Allie, what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a veterinarian. Good for you. That's a great thing to do. Uh, and, and what kind of animals do you have? I have a Boston Terrier. Mm -hmm. It's a dog. Yes. <laughs> Listen, it was great talking to you. I'm glad that y'all were there when we called, okay? Okay. And I just told Trent we want to have you on the show, so we're going we're gonna to figure out how to get you here, okay? Okay. All right. Calm down. Um, uh, <laughs> we'll see you soon, all right? Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, we come back. Rebecca remains famous to be here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Yeah? Hi, Ellen. Hi. My friend made this for you out of uh, Starburst in the dressing room. That's she you. <laughs> Starburst that has been chewed or Starburst that... Nope, nope. Not chewed Starburst. It's been worked and reworked and now that's you. Wow. Can't you tell? Well, of course I can. <laughs> and uh, it's edible. Is it something that... Is it something that uh, was well, very sticky, isn't it? Um, I've been holding it in my palm the whole time you were talking to those kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got hang she's gonna hang up soon. I don't need to hold this that much longer. Um, it's a... Uh, you, is it, this is me? Yeah, can't you tell? I mean, seriously, I don't even know. I'm, I'm like seeing double right now. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> I don't even know who to talk to. That is really if sticky. I squint. Um, <laughs> that's nice. Thank your friend you guys, very much. That's what we're doing with the junk food in the dressing room. Uh, well, well, well that's good. To keep from eating it. It could have been worse. There's other stuff in there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you should see what they're doing with that. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. We'll bring that out later. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. And that's, uh, you're, you're welcome. I'll make something for you out of something that. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> All right, so we saw each other uh, a few weeks ago. We did, yes, we hung out, and you were very sweet, and you snuggled with my friend's baby, whose name is Jack. Jack, I was trying to remember the baby's name. I was going to bring pictures, actually. She was supposed to be here today, but anyway. And pictures you of me and the baby? Yeah, I have pictures of, of you and the baby, and you snuggled with him until he didn't want to snuggle anymore, and then you, <laughs> you were very snuggly, and uh -huh. then you moved on to my puppy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When, <laughs> we were out to dinner, and she was at the next table over, and I uh, actually, I, whenever I see a baby, I just have to hold a baby. Even if I don't know people, I'll right. actually just somehow <laughs> find my way over to the table, and I end up holding it. And it was a cute, how old is the baby? He's um, not quite a year. Cute. Well, and snuggly, very clingy. Eight months, I think. Yeah. Very, I don't like the babies that just put their arms out in the air like that. I like the babies that <laughs> hold on. He's very sweet. Those babies that just refuse to hold you, that just kind of do that. <laughs> And then the baby didn't want to be held, and then I played with your puppy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you took him to relieve himself, or to go hurry up, as we call it. Yeah, which is really clever. You know how when you have a dog and people tell you th to train him to go to the bathroom on command, you say, as they're going to the bathroom, you say, go potty, which really nobody wants to say. <laughs> not in public, anyway. And And she taught her dog to say, hurry up. Yeah, hurry well, up. Not to say, hurry up. But no, to... he can't say it. <laughs> We're still working on that. No. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me to hurry up, right. and I tell him to hurry up. But he goes on command, little, yeah. and just hurry up is good. 
good enough for it, him. It's better than standing on the sidewalk. You, you feel weird saying go potty, <laughs> don't you? Or go poo. Yeah. I would never say that, though. No. And, and you shouldn't have said it either. I shouldn't have said it. It's daytime no. television. I'm getting in trouble with the FCC for sure. Right. Great. It's I'll a daytime never be show. Back. Yeah. We have little Jacob watching. All right. So, um, I'm all sure right, he it, does that sometimes. Huh? Never mind. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell me, the, uh, this is, I don't understand this at all. I don't understand this profession. Your mother, what? your mother is oh. a... She's a linguist. Well, I know that. Oh, okay. But she has a, some, she's, she's... Oh, well, my mother's a linguist, and she, along with a, a, a bunch of other linguists, um, are all, this is, this is, they do this for fun, but it's also their quest to, um, they're part of a group called the Simplified Spelling Society. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to update the spelling of the English language to make it easier for other people who are trying to learn how to spell or learn English to, to learn. And also for, so kids don't have to learn all the stupid rules we have for spelling and all right. the exceptions to all the rules. Right. And they debate and discuss things like WH and why do you pronounce it with an H sometimes and with a W sometimes. Or any word that ends in O-U-G-H there are four different pronunciations. So they think, for example, that the word enough should be spell spelled E-N-U-F. That's how I spell it. Yeah, that's why you should. My mother would yeah. approve. Me and Prince. So, we are, yeah. you know. <laughs> Basically, oh. Prince is the first simplified spell. Yeah. <laughs> like he was, He's the original member. Right, two He's the OG. with a two. Yeah. All right, so, but, um, yeah, so anyway, we actually have a great time talking about it, and I actually totally support her and agree with it but we also have a lot of fun with her we make fun of her a lot of the time but it's fun it's all in good fun can, but, can she do anything about the weekend situation that i was talking about wait what are you talking what do you mean that that the weekend should be the five days and the work week should be the two days what does that have to do with spelling again nothing okay i'll talk to her well it just sounds like your mother's a rebel and she'll go <laughs> she's a pioneer <laughs> she's a pioneer because she's, she's boycotting a spelling bee no, right she went to dc uh -huh. and boycotted the national spelling bee Okay, so the National Spelling Bee, and it's her and, what, two other women? No, there were five of them okay, there. Okay, five. Which kills me. <laughs> kills me, by the way. They think that children are wasting their time learning too many rules for spelling, that they could be using that time to learn other things, like mm. how to play video games. or uh, Right, exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, it's a good, I used to be a really good speller as a kid, and then as I got older, right. You know, I somehow, I, I'm a horrible speller now. And well, I used to love it. I think it's a good muscle to continue sure, to. Sure, I agree. But also we have spell check now. <laughs> yes, that's what's, that's wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah, I would boycott you... that. I would boycott. You're going to boycott spell check? As a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> yes. You're starting that movement? I just, yes, I hadn't thought about it before, but now I boycott it. Perfect. Yes. I actually am such a bad speller. I don't ever use computers ever, but I tried for a time to do that because somebody said you're a bad speller that you, you have spell check, and I was so bad it didn't even recognize my word. It was like, <laughs> it was suggesting other words right, that right. I was like, no. Like, <laughs> right. Anyway, we have, to, we have to go to commercial, okay. and then we'll come back and, and talk more, okay? Am I boring yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> back to the back remains famous. All right. So that looks scary, but that's not even, you just ran into a light bulb. That's not even that scary, but there's it still, happens. there's some things, yeah, I know, but it's like those kind of things, the, the music, you know, yeah. kind of scares you mm -hmm. and the lighting and all that stuff. Uh, but, but. Smoke and it, mirrors. Yeah. No, but there's some, there are some scenes in there that look really scary. Well, yeah, it's kind of a scary premise. We play the parents of a little boy who dies at the beginning of the movie in a car accident and then is cloned by Robert De Niro's character. And so that's the cloned little boy finding pictures of the original version of himself mm -hmm. for the first time. And then he lives beyond the year that he, he died. died so then weird things start happening. Right, he starts having these nightmares and it's scary. And who knows what happens after that. I'm not giving it away. No. <laughs> Just tell us the ending. <laughs> would, that be, would that be wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I might, I might. Yeah, it's a brand new someone. way to promote things. <laughs> And then the end. <laughs> so good, you guys. Let me right. tell you about the end. I'm not going to tell you how it starts, but the end. Um, all right, so when we, were, uh, we, when we were having dinner, we were talking about the dog. This is your little dog named Better, Better, which is a good name. And he's not wearing glasses. That's ridiculous. No, he's, um, you know what? I've discovered, I think Better might be visually impaired. Really? Yeah, so we're calling him Better Keller these days. Uh -huh. And my friend put those on in Photoshop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a cute dog. He's a little poodle. He's a little poodle, yeah. He's a really, really sweet dog. All right, so we got you something. I don't know, does he like to play with toys? He loves toys. Okay, well, we got you a little toy. <laughs> um, but let me figure out how to... 
I, Come on. I, I wrote, recorded some things. So if he bites the stomach. Why? Why, I say. OK. <laughs> and, and then if he bites the head. Ow, that's my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. So it's a little toy for better. <laughs> Nationwide today, don't go away. An amazing story of a lost and found cat right after this. Okay, so Pamela, um, you're, you're in Florida. Mm -hmm. You lose the cat. Right. And uh, what will you do? First of all, okay, seven years later, you get a call. What, what, what's, what's happening? What are you thinking? What's. I was at work and it was April Fool's Day. So at first I thought it was a joke, kind of a mean joke, but I thought it was a joke. <laughs> and um, I mean, how did they say? They say, did you have a black cat? Did they have your name? They had my name, but they said that we found your cat. And I said, um, seriously, I said, what cat? <laughs> and they said, uh, your cat Cheyenne. She's been found in San Francisco, and she's at the shelter. She's just fine. And um, it just kind of ran from there. So they found it because. I mean, now they can put chips in animals so that they scan it. If, right. your cat, if your animal is lost, they can trace it back to you just from this chip. So right. it must have been one of the first chips. They just started doing this. She was. She was one of the first chips. The shelter in Bradenton, Bishop Animal Shelter, was the first in Florida to actually implant the chips. Wow. So. Okay. So how old was she when she disappeared from you? She was three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's 10 years old now. Yes. All right. And so... <laughs> You get the call and you mm -hmm. figure out they, they really do have your cat. Right. And, and then how did the reunion go? Fabulous. Uh, we were reunited yesterday mm -hmm. at the shelter in San Francisco. Uh -huh. And um, very privately, Animal Planet, I believe, taped it. Um, but it was great. All right, that's you. That's, yes. That's little Cheyenne. Looking pretty good. Looking like not real beat up or anything. Right? Right. She looks fabulous. She's in really good shape. Um, her coat is very shiny. She obviously was well cared for for the past seven years. Right. So uh, what, do, what do you think happened? Uh, what did you think happened when she disappeared? When she disappeared, because we couldn't find her and she wasn't in any of the shelters, we thought she had gotten eaten by an alligator because there was a canal right behind our house that had alligators in it. Um, so I thought she had gotten eaten. So you'd put in, you, you put flyers up? Mm -hmm. you, you had looked? Ads in you, the newspaper. For how long? Did you, when did you stop looking? Um, it was a good month, uh -huh. probably at least a month, you know, that we kept checking back at the shelter to see if she would show up and, um, you know, the ads. And we went door to door with the neighbors. And, and she was just gone? She was gone. She vanished. That's why we thought, you know, an alligator had gotten her. Wow. Okay. And then seven years later, you mm -hmm. get a call from San Francisco, 3,000 miles away, right. that the cat's there. I, and I'm trying to figure out, uh, he, no one really knows what happened, but we're trying to trace it. This is what we think happened. We found some tape. <laughs> I've traveled every road in this here land. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert, bear, man. I breathe the mountain air, man. I travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. Cats in, uh, in New York. That she was did too. It was fantastic. She enjoyed it. All right, we got you some welcome uh, home gifts for her from Petco, and oh, we have a little uh, kitty condo for her, oh, wow. and a, a bunch of other stuff, all from Petco. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. That is fabulous. Yeah. So um, I'm glad that you're reunited, and I'm glad she's safe and sound. And but seriously, I'm interested. If anybody has has seen this cat anywhere, knows anything about mm -hmm. it, we'd love to hear if if you know, you know anything about this, because we'd love to piece this together. I'm sure you'd love to know. I would. So, all right. Well, thanks for being here. Dakota Thank Fanning you. is going to join me after this. We'll be right back. I thought you fell down. I know. I didn't do part that I'm mouth. Oh. The car. Yeah. The car fell out of the mouth. But what you, you're always bringing me gifts. Last time you, you, you sent me a knitted scarf that you knit yourself. Yeah, did you like it? I love it. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> This, it, there's a parrot in the movie. Uh huh. So I bought, I brought you a parrot pinata. A real parrot in the movie? Yes, there's a real parrot. In is the it movie. your pet? Um, it is. Does it talk? Um, I, I no, didn't talk. Because that could ruin scenes. If it just starts talking. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But no, because I brought you. Because you know, the movie's in Mexico and pinatas. Right. You're Mexican right. So there's. And it's, so. It's, so it's in there. <laughs> no, 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 
No, it's, it's, a, it's a pinata filled with candy. Filled with candy. Filled with candy. Oh, fantastic. I and may never break it open because it's from you. Look at that. This is like a duck tail. This is not like a parrot tail right there. <laughs> um, hey, I lost this seven years ago. I had this thing. <laughs> this is mine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here. All That's what right, I'm gonna do, great. right there. And I'm gonna open the card right. later. Okay. Th thank you so much. I've never heard no of problem. a parrot that doesn't talk. It was in the movie and it didn't talk. It didn't talk, but its name was Raphael. Mm-hmm. Well, oh well. Okay. <laughs> then. I don't know. <laughs> hey, look, we have a little matching yes. outfit on. That's a cute dress you have thank on. Thank you so much. All right. So what's different about you? There's something different since I saw you last. I um, well, I had two teeth pulled. Uh -huh. Two days ago, actually. Uh -huh. I brought them for you. You brought me your teeth? <laughs> you brought, yes. I will show everybody. And my, I, I, I figured out, I don't know if this is what it is, but they, I figured out that we don't, I, I mean, I don't have an enzyme in my body to break down the roots on my teeth. What do you mean you figured that out? You didn't well, figure that out. No, no, no. no, no somebody told me. <laughs> Figure it, Ellen. Is I don't have an enzyme. So no, somebody told me, and so that you don't have an enzyme to break down. So they had so to pull your teeth they out. Pull it. I've your had teeth six. I've lost six teeth, and all of them have been pulled. Here they are. Well, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's that's Ooh, the that's longest a, one I've ever had. That's a root. That's a root. Oh, that's a long root. A root. Uh, 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 they can't see. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right. Trust us, it's long. No, if there's so Dakota, long. this is not fear factor. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> so you. All right. So you've had six teeth pulled. Pulled, and I'm getting a retainer. Okay. On Wednesday, and I'm so excited. I can't even contain myself. And um, so I'm gonna. I'm. And it's like it's. I'm gonna get a pink one, and I got. I'm getting gold glitter in, and I picked out the colors and everything, and it's gonna go on the roof of my mouth. But it, it, it's removable, so you, it can come out. So it's a retainer, and it has teeth to fill in, or just. No, no, no. It's just. It's just a plastic like retainer that's gonna pull my top teeth out. Oh, because your teeth need to go out. I, yeah, I had under eyes, so uh -huh. I had to pull these out. Uh huh. And you're excited about the retainer. I can't wait. I've been waiting for one for so long. That's great. <laughs> All right. Well, we heard that you were excited. I didn't know you were this excited. So we got you something to keep the retainer in. And it's a fancy little retainer holder with your initial on there and my face on it. So. That is I, so worried that when they gave me one, it wasn't going to be pink. Yeah. No, that's a nice so one. So it's pink. OK. <laughs> All right. We have to take a commercial. OK. And, and then we're going to come back. And then you and I are going to talk more. Great. OK. <laughs> we're back with Dakota Fanning. Um, OK. Uh, so first of all, I just want to give you this because it came. The Tooth Fairy dropped off $2 for you. Uh, <laughs> so that's for you. Um, <laughs> You are so good. I mean, you are such a good actress and mm -hmm. so real. And and uh, do, do you get nervous? I mean, you're. Um, well, I I mean I don't like when we I on the second day. I mean I, I didn't get nervous, but I didn't get nervous on the first day at all. But then the second day, I got sick, mm -hmm. and we were filming a scene. And like the minute the director Tony yelled action, bleh, I threw up. <laughs> so, uh, 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 and so then, and then so then. So that was like the second day, and nobody had ever met me before. Uh -huh. So I was like, "Oh, great!" So yeah. you know, everybody sees me for the second time, and you know, I'm <laughs> puking on the roof. Uh -huh. So then, um, well, then Tony had like ten cameras like going on every shot. Uh -huh. So we go, I, pu I got you puking on ten cameras. Uh <laughs> so I'm like, "Woo, Tony, uh, great!" Yeah. <laughs> That's a good accent. Is that he's he's British? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Is Rutger Hauer in the movie? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, okay. So you filmed it in uh, you filmed it in Mexico. Mexico and City. What in Mexico City? And what did you do? Anything interesting there? Did you like it? Yes. Um, well, we went to the pyramids and we climbed the pyramids. 
And um, apparently our driver, he's um, he was from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And um, so he was like kind of showing us around pyramids and everything. And mm -hmm. um, apparently like if you clap and be real quiet, you can hear like the Jaguars echo or something. Mm -hmm. So um, my grandmother and we were all there. My grandmother, um, we know was talking and everything. He was like, Mary Jane, if you just shut up a little bit, you can hear the Jaguar. <laughs> and so, and we were like, because he didn't speak that much English. I mean, he did, but he didn't right. understand that you don't say if you shut up a little bit yeah. to right. somebody. Yeah. So he said that to my grandmother, Mary Jane, if you just shut up a little bit, you can hear the Jaguar. <laughs> and he was just like going on clapping and like hearing the Jaguar. <laughs> and we were like, and, and, we, and he's so nice. And, um, and, he's, and so we teased him about that. Oh. He was so nice. It was good, though. It was nice, but he didn't know that you don't say shut no. up to somebody. <laughs> but it's more polite if you are going to say shut up, if you say, if you just shut up a little bit. It's, right! There, it's, it's so much more polite that way. Uh, hey, listen, um, you are adorable as usual. I love seeing you. Thank you for oh, my gift. thank you for having me on the show again. Uh, okay, you're welcome. I and, uh, and you <laughs> thank you for my retainer case. You're welcome. I can't wait to hear, what, now that you've gotten the retainer, what it's yes. going to be like. It's it's, so, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Man on Fire is currently playing in theaters everywhere. The Big Finish is next. Don't go away.